Hello folks welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to make our Flutter app to play a sound like this. As you can see whenever I tap onto this button a alarm sound is playing. So we are going to build the same app in the Flutter. So I have created this this empty Flutter project and now as per the our channel culture, let's remove this my homepage class and create another state full widget named as play audio. Now from above replace this my homepage with the play audio and remove the title from here because in our class, we are not going to accept any title or something else. Now come down to here, now for playing the sound in Flutter, we need to use some external third party library. So for doing that let's open your favorite browser and then here I'm using audio player package for playing the sound in our Flutter application. So let's copy the package name and come to your Flutter app and now open your pubspec.yaml file and here place the package name with the version, which you are going to use. I'm using version 4.0.0. You can use any version compatible with your Dart and Flutter version. Now just click on PUB get so that it will get all the dependencies. Now come here to the main.dart file. And if you want to follow the return tutorial, then you can follow my article. As you can see, I have provided all the codes and all the details how the thing's going to be work and in this article I have mentioned how to play songs from assets and play sound from URL and also all the other operation like play pause, resume seek all the other things. So you can check that out. I provide the link in the description and in pinned comment. Now come back to the video here as I have told you, we are going to use audio player library for playing the sound. So we need the instance of audio player class. So I'm creating the instance of audio player class and inside this build method, we need an elevated button. I'm just creating an elevated button which is going to play the sound. Now inside this elevated button for on press method, we will call a function. And for the child part create a text widget and inside this text widget I'm going to assign a value as please press me. You can write it anything you want like play pause or anything. Now the final part is coming for playing the sound, I'm going to create in another method because we don't want our code to be cluttered. So I'm creating a new method for playing sound so from on pressed method call a method play sound. And now let's create our this play sound method. So inside our play sound method, we need the path of the sound which we want to play from our assets. So just now create here a variable string named as audio path. Okay, now give the address of the path. In my project, I have created an assets folder. In which, I have placed an audio folder, and inside audio folder I have my sound file named as alarm.mp3 and now come to your pubspec.yaml file and down from here remove these lines as and make sure you're having correct indentation. Now below the assets line write the address of your audio. So my sound's address is assets slash audio. Okay now. Inside in main.dart files play sound method, just giving the path of my audio and one more thing, just remember whenever we are using audio player. It assumes that our local sound is going to be in assets folder so we don't need to write assets in this path variable. So here, I'm going to give it its path audio slash sound dot mp3. Okay, after this, whenever we want to play sound we will give the path of our sound in the audio player. Whenever we want to play the sound the sound is the future event. So we need to make our function as a future and our this future method is not returning anything so I'm making it void. Now whenever you tap on this play button, it will look into the assets folder and then it will play the sound. So here we need to await for these tasks so just type here await and then make use of our player instance so player dot play and then inside it. Make use of asset source and then assign the path of your sound. That's it you just need to do this much of work okay now just save the program and hit the run button. And there is something wrong happened so just let me check. Okay I found the issue. I have given the wrong name of our sound so let me fix this. I changed the name and now our issue is fixed. So save this and run the app. And now again press onto this button now as you can see our sound is playing so that's it for this video if you like the video then. Please like share and subscribe it will motivate me to create such videos. Thank you and have a good day.